Hey guys, uh, Everything Outdoors. Today we're doing a catch and cook bluegill. I don't know if you can see him down there or not. There's a lot of them. They're very big. We're going to start with this guy because he's, he's kind of on his last leg. He's still alive, but they're all about this big. These are monster bluegill when you think about it. It's about as big as your hand. They're all either this big or bigger. So the quickest way to kill them that I know is to make sure they don't suffer. My dad usually just cuts up their head very fast, but... What you're going to do, I don't want to show this, I'll just kind of show you to do it. You're just going to take it, and you're just going to poke it right through its head right there, and that'll kill it very quickly. So I'll do that, and then we'll get to the rest of the cleaning. Okay, guys, we are removing the guts. I probably want to scale it right now. All right. Let me just Before, get... Otherwise, it's kind of hard with just the fillets. Okay. We're good. You got a scaler? What's that? The thing that scales the... Weighs it? No, scales it. Like a scaler. Oh, so no, I don't have the that. Scale. All right, guys, Jeff's going to do the scaling. I got the head off. It's, it's moving, but it's dead. Uh, if you're a fisherman, then you know they die. So. God, it's hard to do it. Usually we use a scaler. Jeff's just going to use this kind of knife. Yeah, All right, I'm just going to skip. You kind of get the general idea, but we'll skip to the next part. All right, guys, um, Jeff is the master chef, apparently. We've cleaned, I don't know if that'll advertise you, a bunch of guts, their heads and So what spines. we're going to do, uh, there's the fillets. We got two left, I'm, I was going to clean those, but. What we're going to do is kind of shake up the lemon. There's a the fillet. So what you're going to do is kind of just, like this a little. Put it down on its scales, by the and way. And then you're going to just kind of kind of put it around the plate. Put some lemon on the plate, and then I just rub it. And then you're going to put it, scale up first. And we're going to keep doing that with some fillets, just kind of. I keep rubbing it. Yep. That's good, that's good. Okay, and then we're just gonna kinda lay that down. Oh, well, yeah, and then the reason you put the lemon in beforehand is so when you're cooking it, it kinda just soaks in. Um, as you can see it, you can kinda see it. So again, and it'll take about two minutes for each filet. And then you should flip it over and then wait another minute. Because the side's already going to be heated up, so you're not going to... First minute is going to just be kind of it being heated up. Every two pieces, I put a little bit more lemon on. So. I do probably the, our best way that we got. We're all looking. So this is the next piece. We're going to put a little on the side. And rub it around. And yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to keep doing, guys. That is looking fresh. So we're just gonna keep doing this. So you can see, if they're too small, here's what I like to do. Just kinda lay them across these bars. That one's not too small, but I'm gonna take this next one. Of course, your salt and pepper over here. Yeah, we're gonna put that on after. For crappie, I like to put on pepper and lemon at first, but this, for bluegill, it's better to just put lemon on first. Some people still, like to uh, put pepper on too. So we're just gonna put on those for now. I'm gonna go get a tool, don't flip them over yet. All right guys, I'm gonna get back to cleaning these while we wait for our good pal. Hey guys, clean the fish. You can look over there and you see a lot of heads and spines and crap. Um, but we did our catch and cook. Don't worry, this we ate a lot of it already. So that's from most of the bluegills. We didn't, um, we didn't waste that much as, as you think. But I'm gonna do a taste test. Here we go. That's good, dude. That's actually really good. He's the man. He cooked it. Let's chow down. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Um, make sure if you ever catch fish and you want to keep them, make sure you don't keep some that are too small. You always want to keep a good eating size. Um, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, all that. Yeah. See you in the next video. Bye.